Hey guys, it's Charles Jager for premiumbeat.com. In this quick tutorial, we're gonna take a look at how to export and import presets for Adobe Media Encoder. Exporting and importing presets with Adobe Media Encoder is really valuable if you're working with a team on a project and you don't wanna email a list of export settings back and forth. It's also handy if you upgrade your computer and you wanna move presets you've created on your old machine to your new machine. One other thing I want to quickly note is that I'll be including four Media Encoder presets in the project file that you can download for free from the blog post at premiumbeat.com. The four presets that I'm going to have are going to be the most common ones I use for stock video, commercial uploads, and 360 videos. Okay, now that we have Adobe Media Encoder open, we can start by creating our own custom preset real quick. The preset I'm going to make here is the one I use for quickly sending videos over to a client to preview, which I typically size down to 720p, just so they will upload quickly to Vimeo and YouTube. All right, so I'm just gonna drag and drop my example clip into Adobe Media Encoder. And I'm gonna change the file type to be QuickTime. And I'm just gonna select this here to jump into the settings. All right, so now I'm just gonna quickly customize the export settings. I wanna make sure export video and audio is checked. For the codec here, I'm gonna select H.264. I'm gonna set the quality to be 100. I'm gonna change the width to be 1280 by 720. I'm gonna leave the frame rate as is and the field order as progressive. I'm gonna come down here and check on render at maximum depth. For the keyframes, I usually like to set this at whatever the frame rate is. So in this case, 30 frames per second. So I'll type in 30. And the keyframes, you can set those to your preference again. If you wanna go ahead and leave this unchecked, the Adobe Media Encoder will automatically determine what it thinks the best keyframe distance is. I just typically set mine at my frame rate and have pretty good luck with that. If you have a lot of action in your video though and you get compression artifacts, you might wanna lower that keyframe rate to be something like 10 or one. It'll increase your file size, but it'll try to reduce those artifacts. Now I'm gonna move down here and I'm going to, under bitrate settings, I'm gonna limit the bitrate data to be 5,000 kilobits per second, which is just five megabits per second. And that's gonna go ahead and keep our file size down. You can see the estimated file size here is four megabytes. And I'm also gonna check on here, use maximum render quality. It takes a little bit longer, but again, it can give us a little bit better results. I'm gonna jump over to the audio tab real quick and make sure that's on uncompressed. So I'll just leave that as is. And now we've essentially created the client preview preset that I use, it's in 720p. So what we need to do now is we need to go ahead and save this preset. So I'm just gonna come up here and you can see save preset. I'll select that and go ahead and name this. Client preview, I'll click okay. And now that preset has been saved. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click okay here. So just as an example, we can say we had a team member who's working off-site who needs this preset here in order to export something to send to the client. So what we need to do to export this, you just come over here to your preset browser. If you don't see that, you can select it in the window here, preset browser. If I just open this up, you can see all of the custom presets that you've created. And I'm gonna find that client preview 720p, and I'm just gonna click on export preset. And that's gonna pop up this window here and we can name our file if we wanna change the name of the preset and go ahead and click save. And that's all there is to it. it. Exports a preset very quickly, and these presets are very small on file size, so they're easy to email back and forth, that kind of thing. Now let's take a quick look at importing a preset. So I'm gonna come back in here to the export settings, and let's say the client approved this, now we need to go ahead and export this out to our upload format. Well, I don't have a preset here for the upload format right now, so what I can do is I can come up here to select Import Preset. Then I can find the preset on my computer, which in this case is in this folder. I've got client commercial upload 1080p. I'll just select it and click open. And now we can see that updated everything in the export settings to match that preset. And we have the preset name up here. And I can scroll down here and see it is 1080p. And all these settings have been adjusted. So I can click OK. And now I can go ahead and export with that preset. All right, guys, that's really all there is to it. Remember, if you want to download the free project file, which includes four media encoder presets that I use all the time, please visit the blog post over at premiumbeat.com. And while you're there, check out Premium Beat's exclusive library of royalty-free music and sound effects. You can also preview 15, 30, and 60-second versions of all their tracks. So if you're doing any commercial work, that's also going to help speed up your production, having those already cut. This has been Charles Jaeger. Thanks for watching.